What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the Real Attraction Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean. We here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, honestly, man, you know that's just my intro, but I don't know if this one's gonna be a banger, man. We gonna keep it a buck right here. Uh, we got Corey Kenshin. He dropped a video, man. YouTube racism and favoritism. All right, I was just going. I was a, literally. I just seen this. Uh. I follow Cash Nasty on Twitter. I'm sure you guys know who Cash Nasty is. I follow him on Twitter. He said something about respect to Corey Kenshin for speaking out. And so I went to go check out what they talking about under his Twitter comments. It's talking about he spoke out about racism on YouTube. So now I look it up and I find this video. I was just going, I was literally, I just seen that tweet. I was going to watch this video myself and uh, decided I might as well react to it because it could, it's probably interesting. And I got my own feelings towards you know the topic of discussion i got my own little feelings and things that's been happening to my channel recently that i might bring up depending on what he's talking about that i might want to speak on but it's about his video right now if you don't know who Corey kenshin is um extremely extremely big youtuber i mean look 14.1 million subscribers that speaks for itself man he's in the game He's successful in the game. He has a major, major following. One of the biggest YouTubers that's out there. He does all different types of videos, reactions, gaming, uh, comedy, skits, whatever it is. He got a lot of different types of videos, man. Um, so I'm sure you probably either heard of him or know who he is. I don't necessarily watch like his videos or have watched him like that. But I know who he is and major respect for what he's done for the platform. Um, anyways, yeah. So he's going to talk about racism and favoritism on YouTube. He's going to check out this video, man. I'm going to just let him rock. If I got something I want to speak on, I'll speak on it. And if uh, I feel like bringing my own situation that I've experienced and have been experiencing recently into it, I'll bring that up like either, you know, if he says something relevant or towards the end. Anyway, let's let's get to this. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, man. Also, go subscribe to my second channel uh, for more fitness content, vlog content, food content. Link will be uh, down in the description. Let's get to it. I'm going to try my best to articulate this video as thoroughly as plainly as eloquently as possible i don't want there to be any lost context i don't want to just look like i'm coming out of nowhere or having a temper tantrum because these things are happening the allegations i am levying towards youtube are extremely serious and i'm taking this video extremely seriously youtube you guys either play favorites you are racist or it's a mix of the two these are the three options youtube which one is it here's my proof i've been doing youtube a long time okay i never want to be that guy oh it's because i'm black oh these issues are happening because i'm black there have been certain situations that's the that's the part where you got you got you want to play careful with you know what i'm saying as far as like those type of uh thoughts you want to make sure everything is 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 objective very objective. Let's get to it. Situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm. It could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna. I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did. I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary mm. Assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted. And I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video. No one else's was age restricted. So I appealed the restriction. Um, hey guys, I, I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. They doubled down. The hmm. policy team said, no, Corey, your video is restricted for good reason. We're not going to tell you why, but it's restricted. That's our final decision. I said, hmm, okay. I get with my This sounds very similar to exactly what I've been going through recently. That's, that's funny. It almost sounds ex very similar to exactly what I've been going through recently, too. Let's continue my youtube rep i sent him an email hey could you look at this this is some weird stuff going on only my video got age restricted my youtube rep who isn't on the policy team he looked at my video and he said hey it could possibly be this part at the end 
where the woman was battling some depression and I'm just gonna leave it there lest this video also get age restricted just because I'm talking about it so I looked at that part the first thing I did was try to find other youtubers who had that part or at least a part similar now Markiplier I don't know if you'll ever see this but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because a you're a really big youtuber and b you're not black so I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody so I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant Part 3 and he had the same situation going on and his video wasn't age restricted so I send the video to my YouTube rep I say hey um Markiplier has this situation in his video but his isn't age restricted could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that he said wow Corey uh that's some astute detective work let me uh send this to them and see what they say what do you think happened after that I'll give you a second yeah they came Good back luck. and they removed my age restriction they took it off huh. after they already rejected my appeal i sent them the clip of markiplier's video that has the same thing and they removed it now so because at that point it's either you age restricts Mark's applier video and then he has to go through his actions to say why did you age restrict my video or it's just you give him his video back, you give Corey Corey's his video back, and then it calms him down, right? Calms him, calms him down, and he won't, you know, he'll be quiet about the situation or won't talk about it, ignore it, whatever it is. Hush money, that's what they call it, you know, street sense, street wise, you know, hush money, right? And my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh great, this is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction too. Exactly. But they looked at Mark's video and they used that to verify my innocence. Exactly. So That's I send problem. my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play there was either that or some racism at play and that i would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place mm -hmm. actually number one was it automated or was it a human that age restricted Facts. in in the first place good question number two who was the human reviewer because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal right number three why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? Right. My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube. Imagine you're not Corey Kenshin, and you don't got 10 million plus subs. Imagine like you just you just getting age restricted. You can't do the appeal. You don't have a YouTube rep that you can reach out to that's actually gonna try and help you because you you're you're you got you got I got sixty k. You got sixty k subs. You got ten k subs. You got five hundred subs. You got even maybe two hundred thousand, five hundred thousand subs. It's still not ten million plus, right? So imagine you're in that situation. What can you do? I'm number one trending for a few days and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views. He's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that, Bob. Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's gonna continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by, and what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. Whoa! 
they re-age restricted the video. I say no way. That's that crazy. That. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out, and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't gonna like talk about this, make a video about it. You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. That looks, that looks bad. If they had just said, hey, bro, they would have been better off just like, hey, this dude, this, this human guy was the one who rejected your appeal. This other guy was the one who reviewed your thing or whatever, and they're both fired. I don't know. I mean, maybe not that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because you got to realize with the human reviewers, they have their own personal feelings too about what they feel like deserves this or deserves that. They're, they're human too. So, right, they have their own feelings as well. I don't know who, you know, what the demographic of these human reviewers are. I don't know who they are, where they come from, what they do. You know what I'm saying? If they go outside or if they just sit in the computer all day. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody knows, right? But to then to double back and then triple back and then do the reverse Uno Uno reverse car double back grab four plus and like it's looking crazy. That does look bad. Not gonna lie. You realize how unfair this comes across. I in all my years have never seen a video get age restricted age restricted and then age restricted again have have any of you ever seen that happen before yeah, they saw that i saw that there was some unfair stuff going on so then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video i say wait why are you doing that because i sent markiplier's clip and then they say oh okay well let's just age restrict them both exactly. why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers my peers, and when I say peers, I mean people around my level, around my view count, just to keep it simple. Why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized? Especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. And every single time I start to get an uptick in traction, an uptick in activity, you, here comes YouTube coming through, hey, uh, 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 Let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. Every other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. And now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Now, I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. Very strong. And for that matter, yeah. how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that... Are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit how can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video and it can be the same exact video and they restrict the black person's video but not the white person's video I feel I've been mistreated for a long time I mean even when we hit 10 million subscribers and I was supposed to get my diamond play button and no one there was no correspondence these situations always coincide with an uptick of growth and it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up i mean if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm telling you that's how it comes off i don't see any other youtuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Point them out. I want to see them. I'll retract this entire video. I'll make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man and address it and apologize. I will do that. No problem. But to me, you know what it comes off? It comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts 
doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much, we got to find something. We got to get him for something. It's gotta, he's got to have done something. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video games. Like, I, I literally... This is the this is the YouTuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with. I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team and YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators. With the Kanye West. You know, log out of YouTube. Log out and go to YouTube. You'll see oh, yeah, the people easy. on the front page every Yeah, yeah, I mean that's obvious right there. Go on your little uh go on Log out, go on YouTube from like a private web browsing or like Google Incognito or whatever it is. Yeah, you can see who they push. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Every single day, you'll see the favorites. Count how many are black, count how many are of people of color. So then what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. They try and give us a spotlight. And yeah. Do you know how condescending and patronizing that is? Exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube black, all that fake patronage, all that fake pandering that you guys do. And when you have a black creator coming to you repeatedly saying, why am I being treated differently than other creators? And then you come back and, oh, we got to de age restricted. And then, oh, no, we got to, we got to, he's on to us. Okay, we got to age restrict them both. Fake! It's fake. That's what it is. I am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant. You know, in the beginning, I wanted to keep my emotions out of it. I wanted to stay logical, stay on the things that I could prove. I gave you the facts, but it also turned into me venting the emotions that I've had built up around YouTube. Ironic that I have to upload this on YouTube, but where else am I gonna upload it? <laughs> you know, I worked hard, I, I built this community yeah. from the ground. It's taken me over a decade to do. And I would've just hoped that the playing field was fair and that hey if i did something bad then everybody else who also did that thing should get punished too is that unreasonable i have no problem being punished i have no problem if i break a rule that i get punished for it and i learn but when you start like when it's targeted when you're doing things only because I'm like getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation. But that's just what it is. Now, if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they like, you know, they start like not sending my videos out to my subscribers or or, you know, in a couple months from now, y'all just stop seeing my videos. We know why we know why. I mean, those shadows behind the scenes, they control it all. They control all of it. If they don't want, if they don't want my channel, they could terminate it right now. They could hide my videos. They could shadow ban me, not send my videos out to anybody. That's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this, but as one of the biggest black creators on the platform, I want you to hear it from my mouth that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes at YouTube. Hey man. <clears throat> Let me just say this. Look, I I can't he spoke on his personal situation. I can't necessarily 100% speak on it. I just know he's a big YouTuber. All I can say is this, recently for me now. I've been uploading videos and every single video I get and I hope somebody sees this and helps me out that's cuz I know this video is probably going to get limited as to and somebody's gonna have to watch this because I am gonna try to appeal it and whether that goes through or not We'll see but every video I upload for the last Three weeks, I think Out of nowhere every single video I upload limited ads no matter what every single it could be I could be doing a reaction to a, 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 a Game highlights, bro 
I can do a reaction to, to like the most innocent thing in the world, limited ads. Every single video, I gotta appeal it. It takes days and days for somebody to appeal it. I gotta put the video out. I'm making basically no money for a week. But then somebody looks at the video and says, oh, it's actually fine to have ads on it. We don't, I don't know why we had it on limited ads, basically, right? I've been dealing with this for three weeks. After like two weeks, I started sending out emails and trying to get in contact with people that work for YouTube to find out why am I getting limited eyes on every single upload, no matter what it is. Some stuff, sure, I understand some things have to be limited, but every single upload, no matter what it is. Both times, the first time, I got somebody who responded basically, it's just automatic, wop de wop whatever. We don't know how to control that. Second person I talked to, basically said we'll upload better videos and then you wouldn't have to deal with this problem of having limited ads i wish i took a photo of that conversation because that made me so upset and mad that they just this person that i was typing to literally speaking to directly um through a chat or whatever was just being just so disrespectful as far as like well just upload better videos and you wouldn't have to deal with this problem anymore like what kind of service is that how is that service to an individual who uploads on your platform people come to watch my videos and enjoy watching them i don't got a million subscribers i don't even got a hundred thousand but i got subscribers that come to watch my videos and enjoy watching on your platform and what kind of service is that you know what i mean um that that gave me a really sa uh, sour taste in my mouth and that actually happened probably less than a week ago um, like I said, I don't upload a bunch of negative videos that deserve to have limited ads. Like, if we look at my uploads, I have 1,253 uploads. All right, 1,253 uploads. Let's go to my channel dashboard. <clears throat> if we go to my content, boom, we go to videos, we go to age restricted videos. Out of 1,253 videos, I got 11 that are age restricted. All right, now let's look at the limited. Hmm, monetization, limited. All right, now if we look at the limited videos, I got 71. So a total of 82 videos out of 1,253 are either limited or age restricted. So less than 10%, probably even less than 8%, I don't even know the percentage, but far less than 10% of my videos are even justifiably limited ads or age restricted yet every video i upload no matter what limited ads this was limited 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 all these were limited ads copyright that's fine limited all of these videos were limited ads. this one actually was confirmed but all of these had to get reviewed all these videos right and at the end of the day there is no limited ads right but every single video that's happened to me and i can't seem to get an answer from it um can't seem to get an answer from it as far as like pushing certain creators I, I, that one's a harder one to like speak on but i know one specific creator who makes the same video who made the same videos i made as far as reactions go um i actually made all the video i was on that trend and making those type of videos first they came around after um but YouTube pushed them like three times harder than me. If they, if you, if you look at their video view counts right now, it's about two times as much as mine, right? But if you're looking at subscribers per thousand views, I'm I, I'm two to three times more subscribers per one thousand views than they have. Which so, however you want to like look at that situation. If I had the same amount of view, if my videos were getting pushed like theirs were. And obviously, I'm black and they are, you know what I'm saying? If my views were getting pushed as much as theirs were, and I had doubled my views, right? I'd I'd have over two times as many subscribers as them. So they're getting way less subscribers per thousand views, and but an engagement per thousand views. But my videos just don't get pushed as much as theirs. Even though I made 
I was on the trend first, made the videos first, and can still continue to still make those type of videos. Um, but just not as much as the, as the volume, just because I see that YouTube doesn't want to push me with that. Anyways, no disrespect to YouTube. It's just certain, based on what Corey Kenshin is saying, as a really big YouTuber, I understand the things that he's talking about. And I have my own, uh, and I've had my own experience that falls similar in line to some of the things that he is talking about. So, We'll see how that plays out moving forward with the entire platform. But I enjoy making these videos. Love, you know, YouTube for the platform. I've wanted to I wanted to do YouTube since I was in high school, middle school and high school or whatever. So yeah, we'll see. It's just interesting to have somebody come out and speak out for it or speak out on it because it's something that, you know, you don't want to really talk about because you don't know what's gonna happen to you. Or you don't know what's gonna happen to your platform. But somebody came out and spoke on it. We'll see uh what the uh fallout and renderings of that are in the future in the near future so hopefully everything works itself out it'll be a happy day come next week <laughs> we can all be smiling drinking cool you know drinking drinking some drinking whatever you like to drink and having a good time and smiling and watching these videos and laughing and entertaining and entertaining uh, each other man that's it um uh, let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think, man. I've actually had some of my subscribers reach out to me and say, this person does the same videos as you, but they get so many more views, but you was already doing this, bro. I don't know, just doesn't YouTube promote you? And I, just, and I just say, I have no idea. I got DMs about it right now, man, from my subscribers who are white. <laughs> Telling me, this white dude getting, what? Don't even make sense. Anyways, uh... Y'all know what it is, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. And real always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.